Alright guys, welcome to video number five. So check this out. Since we inherited this class state-based game, and of course that's the class we needed to inherit in order to build a state-based game, it is giving us an error message and it's like, dude, you inherited my class, but inside my class I actually have an abstract method that you need to implement in this class. So if you see it says, okay, this class must implement the method in it states list so let's go ahead and do that right now so under our constructor and let me just scroll down so you guys can see it's public void in it ah oh crap I was hoping that would pop up states list now that's the method in remember the parameter that they required was a game container object so game container and we'll name this GC and it also needs to uh, throw throws slick exception which is we'll go into that later on you guys probably already know what an exception is so let me go ahead and clarify things first before we start coding we needed to include this method right here because it was one of the rules that they said if you inherit from my class you need to have this method or else your program is not going to work so why would they make us have this method what exactly does it do well let's go ahead and look at game container first and let me explain to you guys what a game container is a game container is pretty much the thing that's responsible for the main game loop the frame rate um it manages the input system it manages a lot of behind the scenes stuff so that's what object we're going to be working with and that's really what this method does in its states list is of course you give it a list of states because you know your game before it can start building your game it needs to know what kind of screens are you going to have in it and it pretty much starts off building it so that's what we need to do we need to give a background of what kind of game we're gonna make and that's pretty much what this method is so the first thing that we need to do is we need to pretty much initialize the list of states making up this game in order to do that this dot get state you know what I swear this is true whenever those things pop up I can probably just not even look at them and type it faster but sometimes I spend like 20 seconds just like ooh can I save like five seconds if you don't know what I'm talking about then don't even worry about it. but anyways the first state is of course menu and we want to initialize this so in it and how do we do that it takes two arguments the first one is the game container which is GC in argument two which says argument one is this which pretty much means this object or this class so that's what we're going to do for that state basically we're saying okay we're telling Java that our game is going to have two states one is the menu state which is you know the home page I guess kind of of a game and the second one is the play screen so now with that being said we now initialized two different states successfully and if you still don't understand what the game container is this is one of those things game development where it's kind of hard to explain everything all up front so once we start working more in depth with it in like 10 tutorials you're gonna know exactly what it does so guys if you don't know exactly what I'm doing right now then just you know power through it it's gonna make sense later on so basically like I said we initialize two states or two screens right now the next thing we need to do is say okay our game is building right now so it says okay I built the menu uh, screen and I built the play screen but whenever the user first opens the game do you want me to take them to the menu or the play screen how am I supposed to know I'm just a dumb computer but we'll say okay dumb computer we'll tell you that as well this dot enter state this method is gonna take a state as let me just go ahead and copy this it's gonna take a state as a parameter the ID of a state which is menu and enter state is basically asking you what screen do you first want me to show the user well we want you to show them the main menu so that's why we put enter state menu so with that being said now our init states list is complete again we needed this method because well that's just the slick 2d documentation how they set up this uh, environment and 
some things that were required anytime you initialize a state or build a screen you need to initialize it like this or here and in order to tell Slick2D which screen you want the user to start out on you give it this line enter state with the state ID as the parameter so in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with the main method right here and what this method is going to do is you know what I'm not going to spoil it but it's going to be awesome so thank you guys for watching and yep that's what you have to look forward to next